guys. Well, Snowy Croquet here, and if you have viewed me this long, then thank you so much for your views. I appreciate you guys to the fullest extent, really. Um, I really only check my YouTube channel about every uh, um, couple of days or so, but I really hope to, you know, find new notifications and whatnot, new subscribers. I'm really thinking about new, doing a new 100 subscriber special on my channel and just doing a cool little cute little video of me uh, talking about smokes and whatnot and whatever I'm into at the time, time being, and whatever I find fascinating uh, to kind of delve into. But um, without a doubt, there are a few uh, semi-philosophical topics I wanted to talk about, really just delve into them. Uh, I know my videos aren't super high quality, that's why I'm trying to include a, a few snippets here and there of different things going on. I've been recording a lot of uh, decent little bands in Casper, Wyoming of all places. Um, this is kind of a farm town, but uh, you do find a, a few little unique uh, collective and eclective characters here and there I really appreciate and enjoy becoming one with. So um, anyway, uh, this is the, one of the most important essential parts of my video altogether. Um, Sonoma, made in the USA 100s. And uh, these are very American cigarettes. I'm guessing, uh, above all things, these are the Sierra Nevadas at the base of the, the smoke. Um, I can take a gander and just try to find on this pack, besides the Surgeon General warning of all things, um, where these cigarettes were manufactured and what is what is most um, essential to them as, as a part of them. And uh, before peeling off this uh, sticker, I want to show you the sticker because rarely do I find cigarettes cheaper than about $3.95 or so. $3.95 is about the base minimum price of smokes in my state or in the central part of my state where I find them. And uh, there's a nice little reduced price. And this is really just a fun little snippet for me. Every time I find a, a pack for less than about about $4, I really want to show it off and say, you know, wow, the... Uh, the location that was that was advertising them and selling them really was having a gander at just looking at, wow, we really need to get rid of these. We don't want to throw them away. We can make a profit off of off of them. So let's go ahead and sell them for about three dollars or so. Um, a nice little snippet there. But um, they are they are a good solid three dollars for this pack of Sonoma Gold. So um, yeah, they were manufactured in North Carolina. There you go again. If we have any North Carolinians there, you guys are absolutely the capital um, of America. So far, from my personal experience of smoking, um, with uh, which state produces the most smokes, and I'm a huge geography guy, guys. I'm a huge geography guy. So I, I, I really enjoy uh, looking up different state um, locations where things are manufactured. And this is where Sonoma were manufactured, North Carolina. So if we have any North Carolinians who are just proud of their state and proud of what makes them um, a state, um, in a sense, tobacco is a very essential part of what what your geography um, is and who, and who you guys are, in a sense, um, um, economically. But I'll light up here and try to, try to get my thoughts running a little bit for you folks. Nothing to be too shy of. I really enjoy a really nice cigarette. And there was a time back in like 2014 or so when I was really trying to strive for a YouTube channel and just and just do my best to kind of um, distribute my, my popular belief in cigarettes and what I found, you know, most interesting in them. And uh, when I started my, my first YouTube channel, which was not this one, but it was uh, a channel called Jackson's Back, um, I, I really just, you know, strove to do something that was popular within the YouTube realm, the community, as they call it. But really, we're such a diverse community in YouTube, and we, we know how to, how to kind of pinpick things and uh, pinpoint things to where things are so different and, and diverse and everyone has their own particular keen interest. And that's what's just so spectacular about YouTube. We can just find so many things about YouTube um, and whatever uh, is according with our our STEM and interest that we kind of strive for it and uh, that just becomes our niche, what we watch in YouTube. And that's really special, I think. A 
lo and behold, this is what this YouTube channel is about, um, tobacco. And uh, it really is a, a very strenuous topic to talk about sometimes. I feel very, very stressed um, here and there, dabbling here and there, to talk about things in a negative light. And I feel like it's necessary to excuse myself almost in a sense, like, I'm talking about tobacco. What is what is the point of this? It's so demeaning. I should put an adult filter on my videos. I really should. And I appreciate the YouTube administrators for doing so in the first place. Um, if I'm not capable of doing so um, with the te technology that is at my disposal. Uh, that is just a, a touch of Rockstar Energy Drink. Pure Rockstar Energy Drink. We're all familiar with it. If you're not familiar with this brand of energy drink, and uh, my, my kind folks are from uh, a foreign palace of some sort, and watching my video, um, this is Rockstar Energy Drink. This is really good stuff. If you can special order this, it is um, definitely, definitely one of the most adversely effective energy drinks that I have consumed in my years of being an adult, and I wouldn't recommend them for anyone under the age of 18, absolutely not. Um, but um, there are two energy drinks that I really, really would advise when to consume on a light basis, and that is Rockstar Energy Drink for effectiveness and Full Throttle Energy Drink. Full Throttle, and that is spelled F-U-L-L-T-H-R-O-T-L-E. Full Throttle, I believe that's two T's actually. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Anyway, but um, without a doubt, um, cigarettes, Nikolai Vodka, and Rockstar Energy Drink go very well together. Thank you for viewing. But yes, one more time. There was a YouTuber who I was very appreciative of, and I am terrible with names. I'm much more of a facial recognition kind of guy. So uh, if I meet you at a party somehow in the future or anything like that, um, I'm definitely more of a face recognition guy as opposed to a name guy. But um, there was a Russian YouTuber who I met along the way, and uh, he was spectacular with his reviews. Absolutely amazing quality um, in recognizing different various packs from various countries and whatnot. And uh, I am kind of an American connoisseur when it comes to smoking. I just I just post whatever is available and whatever is immediately available available for you folks um, in my realm of Wyoming. But nonetheless, this Russian YouTuber, just to speak about him obscurely because I do not have his name, I believe that he stopped recording videos about two years ago. He was he was so spectacular with um, his very variation in cigarette smoking and uh, the packs that he chose and whatnot. And this really is a fine art, I think, guys. This really is something that um, is special, and uh, so many YouTubers have brought me to want to continue my smoking tobacco videos to kind of share with you guys, no matter what, no matter what. Um, very special to me. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't have too many recommendations. I'll try to share some in the, in the links below because I very rarely provide links. But one more time, uh, an American classic, American cigarette, Sonoma. 100's gold. Spectacular. And um, one more thing, I wanted to throw on this video after I take this next puff here. Not to be too overtly assertive with my philosophical views, but I really wanted to kind of change the paradigm a little bit and share with you guys one fact and one snippet that I will declare here. Um, not politically, not sociologically, but I believe this is very important to share. And I, I, I just, as a Facebook user and as an Instagram user and as a Snapchat user and as a, a previous user of Tumblr and whatnot, I really think it, I really think and find it very nece ne necessary to share that. I think that celebrity abuse, abuse of celebrities is without a doubt, guys, so overt and so monopolized in this world, the, the kind of uh, perverse use of analyzing superficially celebrities' lives is so unfortunate because no matter what, 
there's without a doubt no no matter what there's so much overt use of publicizing celebrities lives whether they be writers or novelists or actors or musicians it's just so unfortunate to find in this modern day modern day and age and to be honest guys without a doubt no bragging here no bragging rights as an american i find that there are people less than less than a thousand miles away in los angeles who, who come from these lives where they're just like us and they're kind of monopolized their lives and their situations and the drama of their lives is so monopolized, whether they be millionaires or not, to the point where they can just enter this kind of catastrophe of their lives. And, I, and I'm sure it is so comfortable for so, for so many millionaires out there and so many m musicians and, and publicized act actors and actresses out there who are just so distraught personally from a psychological level to be kind of put into a situation where it's very uncomfortable for them. And I appreciate everyone who understands this. It's just a random thought. It's really just a, just a random analysis on my part. But um, without a doubt, celebrities are, are far too, far too ostracized um, in this day and age, I believe. And uh, not, not to shame anyone, but um, I read the TMZ articles as well to the fullest extent and I believe that Hollywood reporters and paparazzi are really just doing their job because we're out there all to make make the bang for our buck but it's just so unfortunate to find people so ostracized and just limited and kind of banished in this sense where where they're excluded from this personal life that we all savor so much in our in our enduring 90 years or so max if we're lucky but um definitely not shaming anyone but anyway, I am a bit of a tobacco connoisseur. Thank you guys for uh, noticing and watching my video. Just wanted to throw that out there um, in all uh, conclusive calmness and whatnot. And uh, sharing, sharing. But uh, I love YouTube. Rock on, guys. You guys rock. Au revoir.